welcome back to the. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to this game. I just watched the bloopers. The first. <sighs> the house party bloopers. Oh my god. You uh, you probably saw the episode of that. <laughs> they did a separate they did a separate thing. <laughs> We're gonna start a new game. <laughs> because we're gonna start from the very beginning and just go through it. I'm gonna read everything, I'm not gonna skip anything. I'm still laughing. Yeah, it's blah blah blah. And I'm gonna enjoy Why, it. Why, hello. Oh. My, aren't Why? you a gorgeous sight? Can I be honored enough to know your name? Ooh, man, should we have a different name this time? There are five guys, uh, six guys. We could have a totally different, we could have six different names in this playthrough. I think we should go with six to level because that, that's that's our calling. Mmm. A lovely name for a lovely person like you. Wonderful. I just heard your blooper, Eric. I heard Eric, your blooper. do your job. <laughs> Very well. <clears throat> this game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Renpai Visual Novel Engine. Okay. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it, since you'll be in it. Thanks. Eric. Mm. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. I want a voice act for a game someday. Somewhere. <sighs> Come on! Is that all you got? <sighs> Wanna try me, asshole? <sighs> Crap! Missed! Let's retreat for now! N no kidding! Let's get out of here! That's right! You better run, you stupid punks! Stay out of our territory! <clears throat> call it fate or call it coincidence. That one moment of violence started a chain of events I will never this forget. This formula, created in the 70s, uh... is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. I need my keyboard closer to me so I can actually... There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know that button did that, but that's good enough. <laughs> it is used to calculate the price of European style <clears throat> options and is widely used by option marketers. Though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. What? What? Rain. It's been long s it's been wow. Already doing good. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've gotten rain around here. But it is like the but it is like the Season for rainy weather. Great. Try to be... sound good. So it's not exactly that surprising. Personally, I love the sound of it. The way the raindrops fell, like the soft tapping of fingers. It was so soothing. You Even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calming. For the reason I felt like... You know what? I'm gonna try to read properly. Let's do this. <clears throat> For this reason, I feel lucky for having a seat next to the window, though I did spend more time staring outside than I did paying attention in class. The lectures in class were pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Phelps' voice was so forward, but I just wasn't interested in what she was saying. Liz. And since it was period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things in my free time. Oh, I just keep hearing noises. Hmm. Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. I thought I had good grades in this class, but it was only because I read the textbook and did the assignments I had to do. <laughs> the, eh, the hair in my mouth. Ew. I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester, it would mean the end of high school courses forever. Thank God for that. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of mundane how the days drifted on and on as if there were no end to it. The only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was me and my friends and hanging out with them. But that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. The start of the second semester I brought a note of final finality there we go, to it. I had already applied to many universities the semester prior, and I was expecting to apply sometime in the next few months. It seemed like the start of something new, something that would change. That is, if things could change. I I stared at a faint outline of raindrops on the dis in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss Anderson. No! Miss Phil's raised her voice, interrupting my train of thought. 
Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully she didn't pick me because she noticed I was spacing out. Yes, ma'am. Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Oh, I think I read about that in the textbook last night. It should be the black sh Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Teacher's pet. Anderson, it followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather my surname. No doubt since the surname was the trademark of of the internationally famous philanthro- What is- What? Philanthropic- Philanthropic- I can't pronounce words. Anderson Family Toys! <laughs> and because the founder was my own grandfather. Susie, when my best friend turned around and proudly gave me a punch at the shoulder. Kick ass, girl. I don't think once I heard bloopers from her. Besides- from beside me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of Suzu's choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job, Miss Capini. I love that last name. Oi! <laughs> Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh, some guys named Black and Scholes. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Scholes. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. I don't study. <clears throat> Suzu rolled her eyes and slouched into her chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. She always patted when Naomi showed her- That's up. the end of today's Sorry. lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. I don't like you. <laughs> Before I knew it, knew it, knew it, <laughs> knew it. Before I knew it, Suzu and Naomi had scooted their desks to align with mine, and we turned into the three musketeers. Whenever the teacher let the students side on groups, we always grouped together in our little trio. It was a sheer stroke of luck that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around any other classmates. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out the post we were working on and rolled it open onto three desks. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, though we did still have to add a few finishing touches here and there. After working on making the poster a bit prettier, we sat back and expected our work to see <clears throat> what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first to look over any issues. She lightly tapped a pencil against her chin, staring intently at the project. All right, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? So turn your voices up. <laughs> that was not the right button. Can I even do that? Everything's up! Everything's up! Yeah, okay, fine. I'll just be quiet. Oh, I got a cut under my tongue and it hurts so bad. <clears throat> Suzu straightened up to look at the poster and stroked her chin. After a few seconds, her brightened face her face brightened as she spoke. How about a company name? Huh? Did we really skip over that? Of course we did. You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff that you completely skip over the fact. We need a name for our project. <sighs> At least we caught it this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? It always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named or titled, I was a master in any, in any decisions, even when I didn't want to be. I like Trinity Corporations. That is way too predictable. How about the Dragon Company? What do dragons have to do with our project? What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's hot. But our company sells bubble gum. So creativity, man. Who said we can't produce spicy bubble gum? <sighs> <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> Both of them looked at me expectantly. Even though I wasn't quite sure myself, I didn't really want to choose sides. But if it were up to me, I would say we're going to go with a different answer this time than Trinity Corporations. Ah, uh, fine. Matthew didn't Be like lame. that. <laughs> Fine, Matthew. All right, now that we've decided on a name, <clears throat> now what? What? Hmm. 
We know... We know Matthew's special power. We know Damien's special power. But what about the other boys? I wonder. I can't wait to see. <clears throat> As we ended our name game, a giggle scrambled my thoughts. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, what? Ignore it. It's just reset. Looked over my shoulder to see her laughing with her circle of friends. Mostly compromised of popular people that were practic yeah, practically friends with everyone in the school. And as a result, everyone in the school knew them. And the center of it all was the said white. She sat with a posture that indicated she was still working, but that she also was ready to casually chat about her day. She had an, she had an endearing balance of charismatic and awkward, which was readily apparent when she first talked to someone. <laughs> I'm in so much pain! <laughs> a little cut under my tongue! It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite a comedian as well. Basically, she was perfect. Not that she was like a robot or something, but she was the student that everyone else wanted to be. The set, she, she's a plastic. She's a plastic, guys. The set was bright, easygoing, and above all, had a future laid out right in front of her. And like the average student, she knew what she wanted to do after high school. And as a result, she was confident and ambitious. Though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way. <clears throat> Moreover, I have known her ever since I was young, but it had ultimately resulted in a rivalry that continued today. Of course, my friends knew that was between us and upon seeing me glance at her she shifted their attention to she her. She doesn't even look like she's working in my opinion. She probably is but she's too much of a stuck up priss to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. I love Suzu. Oh come on Suzu. <clears throat> she may be a little off-putting <coughs> but she's not the giant priss that you're making her seem to be. Everybody else has a normal name but Suzu. The day she isn't a priss is the day I turn into you. Ouch. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. It's about time. Let's bail. Fight, fight. Okay. Unsurprisingly, Suzu was the first out of the classroom, slinging her backpack over her shoulder with ease as she quickly strolled out the door. She doesn't even close us to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Me and you both. <clears throat> Matthew's not liking this at all. I I assume that I, I I assume that's what that symbol in the corner. I don't know. She gave me a smile as if relieved by the fact that I felt the same way as she did. See, <clears throat> why can't she just be normal like the two of us? There is nothing normal. It's Susan Naomi. Think about Very it. Very true. <laughs> I... Man, you guys are slow. My mouse are you coming or what? Did my mouse. We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. Are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Even Miss Valedictorian here was dozing off a bit. <coughs> I do- <coughs> Yeah, that, that's me laughing. <coughs> I do have to admit I was spacing out, and just because I answered one question doesn't mean I'm automatically Valedictorian. Okay, Victor so it wasn't too interesting. Valedictorian. But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. Yes, Mom. So you finally admit it. We're finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Please, don't call me by my last name. This isn't the classroom. Never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. <laughs> Despite this, they both burst out into laughter. Normally anyone would think the op- like, think opposites like them would never associate with each other. But even though they're so different, their friendship somehow made a lot of sense. Maybe they were just perfect compliments or personality just didn't di 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 dictate the possibility of their friendship. After all, we were we three had been best friends since before. Alright, so where are we heading to first? <laughs> Cafeteria? <coughs> I think we can all agree that we're really hungry, especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubblegum. Who would even buy that? I wonder. Me? I would pay good money to get a taste of it. They sell it in stores. I said this last time, it's cinnamon. Hey, you do like spicy food and stuff. Oh! We entered the cafeteria, bustling room, food, with the aromas of different kinds of food. So we got in line, we ordered our meals, and chatted freely. Cajun fries and the spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's got to be all or nothing. No, water's a really bad idea. You're crazy. You're crazy. Hell yeah, I'm crazy. 
I think I'm getting a migraine. You're such a mom. I think I'll go with... Yeah. Tuna sandwich sounds pretty good right now anyway. <clears throat> Once we got our food, we settled down at one of the... the at one of the empty tables, putting our backpacks aside to finally dig into the food. Suzu leaned back in her chair. 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 Tilting it back so she could rest her feet on the table by her food. All right then. Is there anything we want to talk about? <laughs> Bored already? I know. Let's talk about... Say boys and I will never speak to you ever again. Aw, why not? <sighs> You're such a goof. What's so interesting about talking about guys? Not like any of us are going to get boyfriends anytime soon. We don't know that. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? <sighs> okay, let me break this to you, easy. Naomi, you just like you're still in elementary school. Suzu is just too rough. Me, I don't talk enough. I got boys waiting for me at my grandfather's house. Don't worry about it. Like that's going to happen, <clears throat> Naomi. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a ditzy blonde. Hey! No offense. And Anderson here. Well, I guess she could land a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. By the way, she's not blonde! Or girlfriend? She can be a lesbian if she wants. I can be whatever I want to be! True! That's okay, Suzu. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. Why not? It's our senior year. Might as well get a boyfriend. <laughs> Why not? Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. I like how you people are talking for me. <laughs> well... Really, it wasn't about wanting a relationship. It was more if there was there was no one interesting enough to be in a relationship with. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I'm an open person, but there were not many interesting guys in school to go out with. Who knows? Time will tell. Totally a pacifist. Naomi looked at me, wanting to continue the conversation. However, before she could speak, the speakers in the cafe cafe okay. Start, uh, start it up an announcement I go through the cafeteria. Miss Anderson, please come <clears throat> to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. Make me. Oh my. Looks like our plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm not going down without you come with me. Suzu, don't joke around. What if it's serious? Ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Funny enough! <laughs> Something did happen. And it was certainly no laughing matter. Sorry. Cold. It was really cold. The rain became heavier in the afternoon, accompanied by rolling thunder now and then. The skies had turned dark, though I couldn't see any of it under the black umbrella. Not that I was looking up. In fact, looking up was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I stared at the grass beneath my feet and able to look up at the people weeping around me. All I could do was... All I could see was the damp grass underneath my feet. Only the monotone... What is that word? Illugies. Uh, whatever. That floated through my ears reminded me that I was at a funeral. <clears throat> Again, zero from 100. And it was only when the speeches ended that I finally was able to raise my head. Small gathering of people, mostly made of relatives that I didn't even know were related to me, were huddled around me, uh, were huddled around a simple, small grave. For a while, all I heard was the sound of raindrops on umbrella. If it weren't raining, everything would probably be in heavy silence. I looked beside me where my father was standing and holding up a large black umbrella for a small family of three. His face was emotionless. A straight sight. A strange sight is next. Uh, oh. <coughs> a strange sight next to my weeping mother. I wondered what was going through his mind. After all, etched into the smooth grave tombstone before us was, was his father's name. Am I okay? <laughs> Am I okay? My grandfather, the one who raised me like he was his own, like, like his own daughter. If I could talk, and my voice was is going away, <clears throat> had passed away that day. The ceremony was small; only close family were allowed to come. Slowly, though, people began to leave. During my, leaving my father and father, mother, and me behind the at the grave. I cannot talk. But my foot is falling asleep. A man dressed in clean black suit under the uni uniform black umbrella of the funeral. Attendees walked towards us, introducing himself as Grandfather's lawyer. He pulled out a few documents from his suitcase and began reading aloud his contents. And now, I shall read Harold Anderson's last will and testament. <clears throat> I cannot. <clears throat> 
Only my parents and I were allowed to be present for, the bleh, for my grandfather's will. It was under the strict request of his lawyer, and there was a reason and why. And to my dearest granddaughter, I give my estate. All the furniture and decor that resides within the house shall also be given to my granddaughter. Clack. Couldn't believe my ears! I had earned the family estate at 18. That was impossible, and yet it was written by my own grandfather's hand. He passed the family estate to her? Why am I not surprised? And you can join him in the underworld. Dear. Dear. Well, did he say anything about what will become of the CEO and chairman position of the Anderson Toys Company? <laughs> Stop worrying so much. No. It is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. <laughs> Even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. What a stubborn old man. The hell happened between you two? Shaking his head, my father turned to face my mother with a serious expression on his About face. About the estate. Should we send <clears> her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. You know, this game is just about quick thinking and really, really... ...fast decisions. We don't really think things over, do we? Are you sure we should? Like, right now? Why not? This would be a good experience for her. But... Oh my god! Honey, <laughs> what do you think? I had no opinion on the matter. I just wasn't sure what to say. Why did my grandfather think that I was appropriate heir to the mansion? Was he even ready to live on my own? Well, own? that seems to be it. You we'll be taking our leave <laughs> now. I'm sure the now. little heiress needs some time to adjust. I'm sure your ass needs a little bit of kicking. David! David! Yeah, you leave! Even though she raised her voice, my dad worsely began walking back to the car, disinterested. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's passing really affected him. Why don't we get back home for now? You can go on ahead to the car, Mom. I think I need some time alone with Grandpa. Oh, of course. Take all the time you need. Alright. She gave me a quick hug and hurried after my dad. I looked around the funeral grounds, which was completely empty, save for the sullen-looking grave that was laid in front of me. I'm sure if Grandpa were in charge of arranging all this, it would have been much different. <clears throat> it was blatantly obvious that my dad was in charge of the whole event. Who else would bury their own family the same day they pass away? Bro, he didn't, he's not even cold yet! You suck. How do you know he's dead? What if he's not? Plot twist. Right there. Everyone knew my grandfather's love for toys, and yet the grave was a mere stone slab on the ground. Void of any children's toys. My dad didn't even bother putting flowers. His disdain for my grandfather was almost pitiful. Sorry, Grandpa. I tried to force out some words, but the only thing that came out was a choked sob. You told me to stay strong for right now the pause from one time long to uh. Grandpa. Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. I hate that I can't do my old man voice for this, and it sucks. <clears throat> I was swept into a giant bear hug and we both laughed as he swung me around like an airplane. It's my f Stop with the sad music! Thank you. It was one of my favorite things about seeing my grandfather. The way he greeted me. I'm like, stop! I said stop with sad music. Like my father, my grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. Sorry that I couldn't be here, he's a jerk. It had always been like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house. Deciding that he- oh, sorry, I got really confused. Deciding that he was busy with work or wasn't feeling Is well. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? <laughs> Guys. Guys. He's an older version of- no, no, no. He's an older version of Matt Smith! He's the Doxa! Bow ties are cool! Stop clicking that button. Hand. Bleh. <sighs> You're the doctor! That's how you know all this stuff. The time you whiny, wibbly wobbly chow. No. Yeah. So, what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mommy says that there's a new dessert cafe open in town. Maybe we should oh, go. Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Some would you like to see? Sure. Ah, oh, is it toy? It is. I was designing a new line of them. 
but I feel like something's missing. You don't think you could help me out, could you? No. Okay. He placed a toy in my hands with a smile, and I inspected it carefully. It was beautifully crafted, and obviously a lot of work was put into it. There was one thing, so, though. So, what do you think? I think the heart in his chest should light up when you hug it. <clears throat> It'll be like it's alive, and it can be a little night late before you sleep. He stroked his chin, considering my input while nodding his head. After a few moments of sullen deliberation, he turned to me with a chuckle. That's a great idea! Woo! I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, dear. You always know what to add to make the perfect toy. I really hope I can be like you one day. Do you want to make toys as well? Mm, sure. Well, making people happy is the best feeling in the world. I don't know if I want to make toys when I grab them. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Thank you, Doctor. That uh, makes sense. He doesn't think of it the same way, though. Your father. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. He magically looks off into the distance. Your father. I'm not sure about Sweetie, that. Sweetie, look at me. I can't. I'm dramatically looking off into the distance. He bent down to look at me eye level with a serious look on his as face. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. I'm sorry I turned my heater on. I don't hate daddy. I do. You don't have to though, Sexto. It's okay. I really do love him. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold on a second. Can I just go over something here? Uh, I'll go over it after I read. I really do love him. I don't know why he's like this though. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. I had heard tidbits from this from my mother and various other people. The only people who had stayed quiet were my father and grandfather. Both of them refrained from saying a word on the subject matter. But it was clear that whatever happened set up a wall between them. It's hard, though, trying to pretend as if nothing's wrong. However, no matter what, <laughs> you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already. I'm a big girl now. Well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Are you gonna send me and goodbye, Dad? Grandpa? <laughs> Daddy? Mommy? Your friends at school? Me? We'll stand together to get through it. So deep. I'm gonna be sure of that. Because we'll be right here and here. He says, point to do staircases. He put his finger to my head first and then pointed at my so chest. So stay strong. Promise? Promise. For a moment, he looked almost sad, pleading. But as quickly as it had come, the expression disappeared from his face, and he was all smiles once again. I promise. Upon hearing that, Grandpa let out a great burst of laughter and stood up. All right, then. Enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Homemade dessert, I'll race out of the kitchen. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> Oh, is she crying? Oh, is she crying? Okay, so the thing I wanted to say was... Dandelion. Nameless. Let's see, what else? Uh... Always Remember Me, I guess, could count. This game... I don't know about Nicole. All have messed up families. Their parents are always messed up. It's always the parents! They're either dead... <laughs> they're either dead, hate their children, ignore their children... Or they just don't come into co don't come into play at all. It's quite sad, honestly. You will me to be. You will. Oh, wow! I was confused. You will me the very home I love to see you in. Why? Why would you think I'll be ready to take it, especially after this? A surge of anger bubbled within me, but I qu bubbled. <laughs> but I quickly swallowed it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer there. I'm sorry. It's hard to stay calm when you've left me with so many questions. Especially about what happened between you and Dad. Eh, what am I doing talking to a grave? My vision blurred and I suddenly realized that I was crying. My face heated and tears rolled down my cheeks. I'll bring you some flowers later. I, I miss you already, man. I miss you. I'm not for that sappy stuff. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise I gave to you, even if the world might turn against me. I left the grave, wiping my tear hastily so my parents wouldn't see. 
Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Yes. Thank you. Oh, my hiccup. Jeez. <clears throat> Superstation. <laughs> However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after his moment at the funeral, I wasn't sure if that was a good idea. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Ah, memories from the first episode. <laughs> Getting my courage, I decided that it was time to talk. Yo, fro ho, could I ask you a question? Go ahead. Raise your eyebrow at me, sir. Yeah, smack you. Why did you want me to move into the estate so soon? I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? Can I point out something? He made nothing clear. He said, okay, moving. Okay, goodbye. Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. Oh, sure. It's I'll, a I'll perfect fit for you. Oh, it's perfect. Because you're me. It's so sudden. You just said so quickly right after the funeral. Uh, don't be so sensitive. Mm -hmm. If you're like that in the real world, mm -hmm. you'll be crushed. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll get crushed by a car! Falling from the sky. <laughs> just saying that. Maybe we could talk about a bit more about my future. In reply, my father rubbed his temples inside quietly. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. Hello? I have connections since I am part of the board of directors. So you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? That is what you decided for me, yes. But what if I want to, you know, be an artist? Be a singer? I could be an artist. Stop mumbling. Okay. What if I don't want to work that? Don't be silly. Yeah. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. <laughs> you make me tired. He came closer to me in his face often. Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. If I haven't killed myself first. For some reason, when I heard him say that, something snapped in me. Just, Ugh! I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but it made me feel so angry. Do you even care that grandfather passed away, father? Of course I do. Father? Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. Things couldn't be better. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. I don't like your face. It's like nothing even happened at all. Like you just ignored the fact that he's no longer here. Do not raise your voice at me. I just want to repeat every line I said in the first episode. <laughs> what did you... What, bleh, what did he ever do to deserve this? My father, his face hardened. Crossed his arms and ripped in anger laughter. Ha! You sure place him upon a pedestal. Like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. I repeat a line. You make me sick. Is that it? Ugh. <laughs> Puberty! <laughs> Are you happy seeing your grandfather dead while everyone was grieving? You were holding yourself back from laughing in everyone's faces. Did you feel just a bit happier seeing him lie in the graveyard? <laughs> and a slip. You don't know anything! Running your mouth I like somehow you know everything that went on when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut. You need some anger management classes. You did not know my father. You did not know what he was capable of. What is it? Because he's a, a wizard? Is he Gandalf or something? Was Gandalf a wizard? I never watched that. Okay, um, um. Dumbledore? <laughs> is everything alright? What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Not I'm just gonna go upstairs and pout. Honey, wait! I love her room. It's so pretty. I quickly turned and ran up, the st ran up the stairs to my room, slamming the door behind me. My breath came in short pants, and for a while I leaned against the door to my bedroom, eventually sliding down the s- And against it, hiccup. How did it- How did it become like this? <clears throat> my cheeks all throbbed and I attentively stood up. Hiccups and, lo and looked in the at and looked at the mirror to see how it looked. Hopefully, it doesn't bruise. Yeah, what am I saying? Tears from the corner of my eyes, but I blinked them back rapidly. I couldn't cry for the second time today. I had to be stronger. Are you all right? 
Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. Yeah, why did you marry him? It's fine, you know, just I don't like him. The lasagna's done, though, and I don't want you skipping any meals. Okay, bull. Are you sure? Bull, lasagna takes longer to cook. About an hour. Then, then it's got to cool for like another 20 minutes or 10. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry about me, Mom. I'll come downstairs later to eat. You're not telling me the whole story. I don't want to. I just don't want to eat right now. Please, dear. Tell me what's going on. I wish you would tell me why you're being like this. I'm a teenager. <laughs> I slammed doors on my parents, duh. Wanted to tell her. Part of me was screaming to tell her what Dad had done. At the same time, I knew she couldn't fix anything. Besides, I was moving out regardless. I remained silent, letting the event remain in the past. Oh, I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat it later. Finally, my mom left me alone. It was strange to think that she was only a few inches away from me, only separated by a single wooden door. I really didn't know what to do. I needed to, 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 um, I needed to do something. Anything to get my mind off what just happened. Anything would be better than thinking about any more about... The pain still radiating from my cheek. I was going to move into my grandfather's house tomorrow. I should probably pack my stuff so I'll be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, good idea. Should I start packing? I should start packing. <laughs> Stop talking to yourself, sexto. I opened the closet, rummaging around for a while before I finally found two large bags. Pulling them out onto the floor of my room, I then began to empty my drawers and cabinets so that I could bring all my things with me. Didn't have much to bring, other than just clothes and some toiletries. It was kind of bizarre that I didn't have any personal belongings. It was just like my luggage was completely devoid of them. But I certainly didn't have many things in my room that I would miss if I suddenly left the house. I shook my head to rid myself of those thoughts. <clears throat> if it were going to be my new home, it would have to feel like it, one way or another. I was going to make it a home. Uh-huh. That's a lot. Okay. I slid my phone out of my phone. I slid my phone out of my pocket and answered it. Wow, slowly easing myself onto the bed. Who could possibly be calling me at this hour? Hey, Anderson, you there? No, I only picked up the phone. Is everything alright? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Hello? Really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well... I slowly began to tell them about the funeral that afternoon. Small sounds followed when I was done recounting what happened, and to my relief, Naomi finally spoke I up. I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? <laughs> now it's okay, my dad isn't in a good mood, so can we just talk on the phone like this? Of course! We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? Yep. Triple threat trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. What's with you in naming things? You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tsk, tsk. Hey! I'm a cool kid! If anything, I'd say you have to step up your game. Your temper, Naomi. <laughs> we chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. Very soon, I had forgotten about the events of the day and was engaged in a conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show, some program called Her. Her. We all agreed that the actor playing the tit tit <laughs> character certainly had a very distinctive look about him, with that long overcoat and scarf wrapped around his neck. We had many disagreements about who we thought was the coolest character. Yeah, he was really. Uh, he has really high cheekbones, and his eyes are pretty. But I do have to say, I prefer Jetson. Jetson. And as a bonus, his character so sassy. I looked at the clock hanging on the wall and realized how late it was. Bro, it's already one a.m. Oh my gosh! Sorry for keeping you guys up so late. I think I'm gonna hit the hit the beat the hay for now. See you guys school tomorrow. Let's probably shower and go to bed. Can't believe I stayed up this late just talking to my friends. But it was really nice. To the bathroom I go! Took a relaxing shower. Nothing beat hot water and the, the, the feeling of being clean. But during myself, I promptly dressed in my pajamas and crawled into bed. Ah, a nice hot shower after a long day. I'm so finally glad to be in bed. 
It had been a really long day. I knew I... Rubbing my eye. I knew that I was wishing for something to change back in class, but I certainly wasn't expecting any of the things that happened today. I'm gonna have to go to school tomorrow. Ugh. Curled up to my side, tightly wrapped my blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to be returning to school, but my dad probably would make me go just for the sake of it. Time to go to sleep. I reached out to the lamp on my nightstand to turn off the light. However, my mind was so lost in the passing of my grandfather and the thought of the inherit and thought of inheriting something so big that it haunted my mind the entire night until next morning. I'm gonna end it. Thank you. Here. See you guys next time. Owie.